Hey guys, it's Jerry, and welcome to another Zomo Lomo video. Uh, first off, I want to apologize for not making a video in uh, quite some time. It's probably been about a month since I made a video, and I uh, wanted to apologize. I actually started working on uh, people's PCs, kind of doing that on the side, and uh, been a little busy with that and other things going on. So. Had some time this morning, uh, family's out, so uh, it's nice and quiet, and I had some extra time, so I figured I'd make a video. And this time around, I'm going to be looking at uh, an overview of the new Bitdefender Total Security 2011. Now, I have a trial here that I've loaded. I uh, updated it, and uh, everything is ready to go, and it is monitoring my system right now. Um, so what we'll do in this video, as I usually do, is just take a look at the interface, take a look at the uh, functions of Bitdefender, how it's set up. Now, <clears throat> one thing that uh, really stands out that I noticed right away when I uh, downloaded this, uh, it's a, Bitdefender is a little bit different because there's a whole process in installing Bitdefender. Um, I installed it a couple of weeks ago. So I'm trying to remember what the uh, install process was like, but you know, there's a whole kind of registration process that you go through. Um, so it's a little bit more involved than other suites, but uh, it's not too bad. I mean, the install went pretty smooth. So uh, this is what the basic interface looks like. And again, one thing that really stands out is this gray bar right here. Um, what this is, is if you hover over um, different things in the interface, it gives you an explanation of what that is. And it's especially useful if you're trying to uh, maybe adjust settings and you don't really know what that is. If you hover your mouse over, your, point, your, mouse, your mouse pointer over that particular uh, function, it'll give you an explanation of what that is. So I found that to be uh, pretty cool. The other thing is, uh, you know, we're protected right now everything's good to go um, so let's start up here under options you have your preferences you have your this is where you have your basic view your intermediate view and your expert view so we'll start by looking at the preferences now under the preferences basically that is uh, what do you want to turn on what do you want to turn off as far as your security settings uh, right now I have parental control turned off you know obviously I don't really need that right now so you have your security uh, settings and you can turn on or off whatever it is that you want to uh, have Bitdefender um, monitor. And again, as you notice, I'm moving my mouse and that this bar, the status bar, gives you an explanation of each component within uh, this uh, security settings. Uh, if I click on alert settings, um, you can show alerts for intermediate and basic views so if uh, if you're a beginner or an intermediate user and you just want to install Bitdefender and you just want it to work in the background then uh, don't check this if you want to know what's going on with your security then check this to be alerted of uh, things going on uh, so again any virus alerts are turned on your email alerts are turned on firewall pop-ups well that could get a little annoying because uh, anytime you want to connect to the internet or anything where it's exchanging information in the background, it's going to give you a pop-up. Uh, so out of the box, it's turned off, and uh, that's a good thing. Uh, I suggest that you keep it off because uh, you know you don't really want these pop-ups um, popping up uh, every, every time. Uh, parental control alerts. So all your different alerts are here, and then your general settings. You can turn on game mode. You can turn on password protection uh, if you have kids or if you, uh, you know, if, if, if you're like me and you, well, I mean, I don't have a password set up, but if, you know, if you do want that extra safety precaution and uh, password protect your any virus, well, this is where you turn it on. Notification alerts, your virus reports are on. So all your different general settings are here. Uh, under the preferences tab. Um, so this is what the basic view looks like. You have your security and you can uh, you, you 
you notice here, it gives you a little pop down and you can update it from here. You can do a vulnerability scan to see if you have any unpatched programs in your computer. You can do a full system scan, a quick scan, and then you have more options to bring up a window with all your different um, settings and what you want to turn on and off, similar to what we saw. Uh, then you have your tune-up functionality, which defragments your hard drive. You can do a PC cleanup to get rid of um, junk files and so on. You have a file shredder. You can clean your registry. You can recover your registry. So all these different uh, components here. You can find duplicate files in your computer and get rid of them. Okay. And then you have tools. You have uh, a, an issue finder. You have a restore. You have a backup a component built into Bitdefender. You can pull up help and support. You can do a quick scan from here. And under more options, again, it just gives you a pop-up window with all the various tools and settings that you have in your um, Bitdefender Total Security. Okay. Uh, so that's your basic view. Now, uh, most of the people will probably use this intermediate view and that gives you a more a, a familiar look to Bitdefender and uh, previous versions, what it's, uh, what it's looked like. Um, so here's your dashboard with all your statuses, uh, your tools for scans and backup and your restore. Um, so it, it's a better layout. Uh, it's not as simplified. But again, if you're more of an average user, then this is what you'd want to uh, use. Your statuses as far as your antivirus and your firewall and spam and phishing. Uh, everything is here along with your tasks to, to do a system scan, updates, vulnerability scan. Everything is more laid out in the open for you. If you understand what they are, then uh, this is a better view because it's right there for you. Uh, out in the open. You have your tune-up. As we saw in the uh, basic view, you can run these different op optimization components. You have file storage uh, where you can store files and your network. Gives you just a snapshot of what your um, network looks like. I mean, this is a virtual machine, so I have network pretty much turned off. Uh, so again, this is your intermediate view, and again, your status bar that tells you uh, anything that you're pointing at, it gives you a brief explanation of what you're pointing to. And then you have your expert view, which is what I would use uh, if, if I was to, to use this. And uh, your expert view gets everything really out in the open. You have all your general settings, um, your stats, what your um, you know what your computer looks like when you've scanned and disinfected files, and uh, how many files that it found that was infected. You have all your different advanced settings that you can uh, configure to your liking. Again, you know, enable password protection, um, pop-ups, and everything else. And then system information uh, under your general settings. Uh, this is where it gives you a drop down of everything that's running on your computer. And I mean everything. What's really good about this is um, you know, if you expand, uh, what you can do is you can expand, for instance, you could ex expand process and look at all the processes that are running in your computer. Uh, now, if let's say you oh you wanted to know what was running under your different server service host um, processes, then you just expand that, and it tells you all the DLL files that are currently active and running under that process. Uh, that's especially helpful if you think there's something going on in your PC and you kind of want to do a manual check of all these different files that are running. You can maybe uh, copy it and Google it and see if it's something that might be uh, malicious or questionable. Um, so it's, it, it is pretty, uh, pretty helpful to have this kind of tree here 
that goes over everything that's running on your system. So that's really, uh, really cool. Then you have your antivirus component. <coughs> Excuse me. Right now it's set to factory settings, which is default. You can go aggressive. Again, very similar to other suites that we've looked at. Here's your virus scan. You can schedule or run these different tasks. You have exclusions to add uh, things that you don't want scanned that you know are safe. Here's your quarantine. Okay. Um, any spam. Again, uh, very similar to other suites. You have it set to moderate, which is the uh, optimal setting from the factory. Um, you have your parental controls. You can set up parental controls if you have children that you want to limit their surfing and so on. Yeah. The time is 11 o'clock a.m. There you go. Now you know what time it is. Uh, you have your privacy control. You have a firewall set up. And um, this I would, really wouldn't mess around with. I mean, it's, it's always configured optimally from, uh, from the factory. So... You don't really want to, um, you know, to mess with this. But again, you can you can go from allow everything all the way down to, you know, Uber. Uh, you know, you, you just don't want anything coming in, so you deny everything. Um, so, it w however you want to set it up, report will give you like constant pop-ups and so on. So it's it's configured great, pretty good out of the box. This is your vulnerability, similar to like a Secunia PSI, where it tells you um, vulnerabilities or, or unpatched programs or, or maybe um, up updates that the computer needs. Um, so that's really good that it gives you a list of everything. And then it gives you right here uh, an action column to click and either fix the problem or install whatever it's missing, whether it be updates or, or so on. So that's a uh, it's very well laid out. Here's your backup to set up your uh, your backup. Your file encryption for Yahoo and uh, Windows Live Messenger. Here's your tune-up component. Uh, so it does a disk defrag, a PC cleanup. Uh, it finds and deletes duplicate files and folders. Here's your registry cleaner. And if the registry cleaner messes something up, then you can recover a previous registry file uh, from right from Bitdefender. Here's your game or laptop modes. If you if you're a game player like me and you want to turn on game mode, you can do that. Uh, here's your network settings. I have it turned off, but you know again, if you had a network set up, it uh, it, it tells you what's running in your network and you can enable or, or block things in your in your network. Uh, and here's your update. Just updated it not too long ago. So you can update now or you can schedule it to update automatically, which is already set up for you. And then your registration. Okay. So, uh, you know, Bitdefender, I, I like the way that they give you different options to set it up on their basic. If, uh, if you're, you know, if someone that just wants virus protection or suite where you just set it and forget it, your intermediate for average users where you don't really want to get deep into settings and everything else, but you do want some, um, some, uh, you want a way to, sorry, I was just distracted by something. Uh, you want a way to, uh, you know, to configure some components of the Bitdefender uh, security suite. And then you have your advanced, you know, if you are like me and you're into uh, internet security and you want it set it specific to the way you like it, then you go into the, um, the advanced mode. So all in all, I, I like the way that they set it up. Uh, I really like this, this status bar here that gives you an explanation of everything that you're pointing to, all the different components. Um, so it, they did a good job with this. Um, so I... I really like the interface, the different uh, settings, and um, what I'll do next is do a prevention test as I usually do. Uh, so I'll stop the video here, come back, and we'll do a prevention test. So thanks for watching, and I'll be back in a, in a minute.